bad at moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charmer. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. Hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoda charm, I'll need some intel. Big-time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine-related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Don't know, but you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Ah, yeah, okay. Well, thanks. You've been a great help. Are you gonna do any work around here? What, are we union now? <laughs> if you want to tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. He doesn't do very good with kids, or adults, or animals. Come to think of it, he doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. I mean, I knew Hammond was no real scientist. But someone should have seen this coming. Hammond, decide. What about our patient? I'm fine. I tried to convince her to go with the rescue team, but she refused. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that on one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place, you have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Huh. You have a point. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. I know that you're angry and scared, and you've got to be exhausted. What's so important to you to go through all this? I'm sorry, I can't tell you. 
Very well. Hey, Doc, you got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Unfortunately, this isn't the first time I've encountered this. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And NGN didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. They gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. I mean, what was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean... It's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of okay, directors... Well, I'm not supposed to say this, but... I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine oh, Dr. Pens. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it! And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding, despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. But how do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. 
Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The Parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, the uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. Do you think they'll really turn this place into a nature preserve after this? Like Mr. Yoder said, that guy was lying through his teeth regarding the board. But it did give me a thought. This is a huge setback for InGen. Maybe Hammond's role as CEO isn't as safe as he thinks. Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers! Good job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Aww. Ah, this
This is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Jess. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? Ingen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! Take you down right now! Billy! Oscar, get over here! I'll pull you in! <clears throat> Come on, man! That's it! <clears throat> Come on! One more! Woman, she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. Uh, well, you're one stubborn son of a. Hey! <sighs> Problem. You got this. Land this thing now. Not gonna happen. Not so good. Is the water ready? Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. 
Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Raptors. The old man still has a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? Must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! Here! We're down here! <laughs> 